Welcome and get ready for a next-gen multi-platform memo control with syntax highlighting as part of FNC UI pack. The core features of the control are of course multi-line editing like any other memo control. However, this control comes with syntax highlighting for many popular languages. And in addition to that, it supports autocomplete out of the box. You can also customize for your own code completion. Everything is fully customizable using properties of the class in the object inspector. You can adjust line numbers, you can set breakpoints and bookmarks, you can enable and disable certain options, and the control even offers a ready-to-go search and replace dialog. You can also interact with the control easily using events. Your users will feel right at home using this control. Everything has been built with a low learning curve in mind. In order to get started, you don't need to do anything else but select the component on the tool palette, drop it on the form and run your application. The component is ready to go, even with features like syntax highlighting and autocomplete. Advanced users will be able to customize the control very, very detailed using additional properties and events. With all this in mind, let's look at a real example. This is a VCL application with the editor control, the memo control dropped on the form. You see it's called TTMS FNC memo. And on top of that, we added a toolbar. However, the component works fine without any toolbar, just as is, it is completely separate. Another thing worth noting right away is that at design time, formatting, and all the other functionality that you encounter at runtime is also supported. For example, one of the big features offered is code folding. You can click when hovering here over these arrows to collapse and expand sections of code. This is of course tied to the language that you use. This example shows the default. By default, the memo control will use Pascal. How can you change this? Just look at the object inspector make sure that the editor is selected and then look for the language property right here. You can see Pascal is selected. There you will also find other languages that are very popular like C, C++, C Sharp, but not only programming languages, also languages to express layout like CSS, cascading style sheets in association with HTML, which of course is also available. There's a huge number of languages available. Here you see HTML. The list is nearly endless. Everything you will need, in my opinion, is already supported with the first release of this control. You can affect options easily, as said on the slide. Just go to the options property. And here you can enable and disable functionality. You can enable, disable the context menu, drag and drop support, code folding, then what happens when you paste, and also the minimap is fully configurable. For example, you can say auto hide. That means if you don't hover in this area, the map will hide. You can also disable it completely by clicking here. See, it disappears. And of course you can affect the size and the scale of the code being shown. Lots of customization options, which you don't need to set if you just want to use the component with its default settings. With regards to appearance, there is a theme property, and this is by default set to the Visual Studio layout. It uses the Visual Studio, Visual Studio Dark, and Visual Studio High Contrast themes. You might wonder, you have seen this before. Yes, you definitely have if you ever used Visual Studio Code. And the reason for this is that the TMS FNC memo control is using the Monaco editing engine from Microsoft. So this is no coincidence. This is actually at the core, the code editor from Visual Studio Code with all its features and customization options. Also, as a hint, the want tab property is also important. If you want to type tabs inside of your memo control, set this to true because otherwise, if you 
type a tab character inside of the control, DAO file will jump to the next visual control on your form instead. So set one tab to true in order to be able to enter tab. With regards to the content of the control, you can either enter it here and paste because this control at design time is really the control that runs at runtime. However, as you're used from Delphi, you can still use the lines property right here, click on the editor and enter the text as if it were any other VCL control with the lines property of type T string list. Of course, this control has its own type for this. However, you use it, which you'll see even later in this demonstration, just like a T string list with lines and adding items, removing items and so forth. Let's just have one final look at a runtime because I've shown you everything inside of the IDE. You might wonder if it really is this good at runtime. You see, you can scroll. And one of the features I have not mentioned so far is the autocomplete. Because by default, this component collects all the keywords and all the different things from the content of your control. So at this point, if you were to type a W, it would offer right line and while as potential completions or procedure right here in program. So it uses the information given in the context of the memo control. Of course, this will be customizable in the future so that you can build your code completion experience. One more example to show you how easily it can be integrated into your existing applications. You've seen the three letters, F and C, and I'll be finishing this presentation with the core idea behind F and C and why it is such a big advantage to use F and C controls. However, there is quite some hesitation to use them. So this is a VCL application, and on this VCL application, I have a page control. And as a Delphi developer, you know, with new page, you can add tab sheets to this page control. And in order to show you that this new editor control, this new memo control in the FNC UI library is nothing different from what you're used to, I'm going to create these controls at runtime. So I have this method, add tab, which allows me to add a tab to the page control. And what I do is I create the tab sheet and edit the caption, add it to the page control, and also create a memo control right here with some markup. So I'm going to set the language to ML markdown and code completion also gives us the list of all the possible completions here. So you're not alone what the constant is for a certain language. Delphi helps you here. And this way we can create a certain number of tabs. I picked five. When we run this right here, we see that we have one, two, three, four, five tabs. Each of them has the different header. This is a markup file. And of course the formatting is even enabled. So here you see italic. I can also do bold. Also this is bold and it changes to bold appearance. Also take note of the fact that all these editors are embedded on a tab sheet as a VCL control. So there is really no downside using this control. This control is a VCL control that integrates into the framework. This is nothing special in the way that you would have to prepare your application in a certain way. You can use this control and prosper from the great advantages that this control has to offer. And not only can you take advantage of the control in the visual component library, the VCL, no, FireMonkey and TMS Web Core are also supported. That means you can build multi-platform applications learning one control. You can use the same control, the same memo control in the VCL, FireMonkey, and TMS Web Core and direct your applications to Windows, Mac OS, Linux, the Raspberry Pi, and the World Wide Web to any HTML5 compatible browser. That is the power of FNC and its controls. In order to learn more about this great next generation component in the world of FNC UI, go to fnctmssoftware.com.
all Access customers will have the chance to download an early preview of this component before the component will be released in the coming weeks.